Hey, how's it going? It's Mo with Mo'sWebTips.com and I have a WordPress plugin tip for you. This is regarding downloading a plugin from an external source, meaning not the WordPress.org plugin, uh, plugin section. Um, another site somewhere, perhaps a, you paid for a plugin or you found a free plugin and you download it to your desktop and then you upload it to your WordPress website and then you activate it. But then you get an error message. And this has happened to me a couple times and it can be really irritating if you don't really know what's causing it and how to troubleshoot it. So let me just walk you through of how this happens or what may happen. So I already have my plugin downloaded and what I want to do now is I want to upload it. So I'm going to go to my WordPress backend. Go to the plugin section. Hit add new. Great. So now what we're going to do is we're going to upload the plugin. So we're not going to search because we already have one ready. So we're going to upload it. So wherever it is that you have your plugin, your desktop or a download folder, you're going to go ahead and browse and you're going to go find the plugin. So I set this plugin to give me this error. So let me show you what happens. So I go ahead and click on this and I hit open and then I hit install now. And everything looks good, right? Unpacking, installing the plugin, plugin installed successfully. Great. I'm getting excited. I'm going to use my plugin here in a minute. Go ahead and activate it. The plugin does not have a valid header. What the f first time this happened to me, I got so pissed because I was like, what the hell is going on? So let me show you why that happened. And it's really simple. Basically, I don't know if it's because people are downloading plugins and then they're basically just putting it on their own website. But what happens is people will zip a plugin inside a zip folder. So they'll take, so if you've ever installed a plugin for WordPress, it's all, you have to, upload a zipped plugin. But the problem is, is what happens is people will zip this inside another zip folder and that's what will cause that error. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on this and I'm going to, oh, hold on, I'm going to right click on this and I'm going to extract all and I'm going to extract it into the same folder. And as you can see here, here is the original folder and here is the extracted folder. And when I click inside the extracted folder, look, it's the exact same thing. So that was the problem there. So now let's go back and go back to our plugin page. And this time I'm going to try to upload the same plugin, but this time in the extracted folder. So I go to upload once again and browse. Hope I'm not going too fast. Now I'm going to click inside this folder. This is the one that I just extracted. And here is the, the way we want it. If you were to extract this one more time, you would go inside and you would see all the PHP files and things like that. Then we're going to click on this. We're going to open and we are going to install now. All right. Now, this time, hopefully this works, we're going to activate the plugin. And it worked. And if you scroll down, you will see Easy social media is there, and now my plugin is working good. So I hope this has helped you out and kept you from pulling your hair out because uh, I know that I went through that. And it's a common thing for people that have downloaded plugins from other websites. So it's a pretty simple fix, and I hope that helped you. And Moe's and I am out of here.